Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a PDF file to send with an email in MailerLite. So I'm going to share my screen with you now and show you how to do it. Now, of course, um, MailerLite, when you send an email, so I've got my email all set up here to send, MailerLite doesn't actually have an attach button. So you can't send an attachment, which is a little bit annoying. But what you can do is include a hyperlink. So within all of my emails, I always say you can grab access by grabbing your free guide right here um, and doing a hyperlink. Now, of course, where do you get that hyperlink from? Now, there are three different options that I can show you in order to get that hyperlink. Now, the first is Canva. If you have created your, your download, your freebie in Canva, if you go to share and you can share it publicly, you can share it, anyone with a link can view so this is what you need to do only added people can access or you can change it to anyone with the link and you need to make sure that you change it to can view you don't want everybody to be able to edit it so if you do that copy link the link will copy um if i was to open that now um let me just open another screen and show you um that opens it up that is how your clients will see it and so of course then you could just go into MailerLite, insert link insert and so they would be able to access that there another way of doing it if i unlink um, is to add it to your website and get a url from there so you could go onto your website dashboard go onto media and you would go on to add new and then what you would do is you've obviously created it in canva you can download it so if i select the files i have downloaded it already if i go into my downloads how to breadcrumb i can upload that once it is uploaded, again, that will give me a URL that I can then, of course, include within that. And there you go. So it's 100% uploaded. So if I go into my media library, it will be there. Go, it's crunching it now. It will be there. If I click on that, file URL, copy the URL to clipboard. So again, if I copy and paste that in, you can see that is how it will show it up. It will come up to my website, which is great because obviously it generates links to my website. So this is how I do all of mine. Um, I add them as website links. So you can see how you can do that. And then it will give them the option to download or you can add it to Google Drive. So if you have got a Google Drive, again, you can add the documents, um, file upload. You would want to go to add the document and then upload the document. Um, so here's one. I've got a PDF planner. If I just click on that and open that, um, and then you have the options to share. So again, click on share, and it'll give you the option. Only people with the link can access it. So again, you copy the link. If I was to open that again, to open that link, it'll give it that. So again, I've got three versions there, and all I need to do is go in there, highlight that, add a hyperlink and I can do that. So that is how you add a PDF, three different versions. So you can either do it with Canva, Google My Drive, or if you've got a WordPress website, do it there. That's how you generate a URL or your PDF to share in your MailerLite video, uh, video um, email. Hope that helps. Again, if you have any other questions, please do post them in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.